Hello and welcome to the Brit Tech Guru channel, or British Tech Guru channel. My name is Zephod Beeblebrox, and today I'm going to be talking about... What on earth am I going to be talking about? I am going to be talking about this! A white box! Yes, that's exciting! Well, maybe. Let's have a look and see what's in the white box, shall we? My, 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 we have... What is that? That is a Raspberry Pi Pico! And... A breadboard that it's sitting on. This... is an aerial. Well, what's an aerial doing on it? It's actually got a WaveShare GPS. This is the thing here. WaveShare GPS. And the Pi is sitting on it. So what I'm going to do... Now, I'm going to pull the aerial out. This is the aerial. Now, this actually looks like a GPS that I use for other things. But it's just the aerial for this GPS. So, let me scan down. And I'm going to fasten the aerial on. Oh, come on. Let's go. Not very hard. Let's go. Yes, there we are. There's the aerial. Now I'm going to connect the power. Let's get this the right way up. There we go. And we can see some flashing lights in there. We should be able to see flashing lights. Anyway, there we go. So that, I even got that, there we go, that's better, that's got it all the way in. And yes, you definitely see flashing lights. Anyway, I'm going to move the camera back up, so you can now see me and my ugly mug. Now this is actually not a bad little gizmo. It tells me exactly where I'm located. Uh, it gives me three coordinates. This is the WaveShare GPS. And it gives me a Google coordinate, which is probably the actual GPS system. It gives me the Baidu coordinate. Baidu is the Chinese satellite system. And then it gives me another coordinate as well, which I believe is probably GLONASS, the Russian satellite system. So that is really quite good. And I bought it, it said it was just GPS and GLONASS. But it seems to, well, I haven't pulled the code apart, but it might be Baidu GPS and uh, GLONASS. So GLONASS, Baidu, GPS, yeah, all three. The only way it would be better is if it had Galileo as well. And Galileo is the European one, which is um, quite a bit more accurate. Anyway, I'm going to see what this thing will actually do. So I'll take you back to the computer. Okay, let's start with opening Thony. So we'll go to Thony and we'll open it up. And we're going to go to open the Python device. We're going to open main.py. Oh, while I'm at it, let me, let me show you that. These are the three library files that came with the, the code for the, uh, for the GPS. Uh, I've not really looked at them. I haven't really looked at any of them. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty good. We're going to go back up a level, we're going to go to main.py, we're going to open that. Here we go, there we are. You can see we're importing the all the libs or libraries. And oh yes, pin 17, pin 14. This is um this is another one that uh, that communicates on the I2C protocol. So it means I only have to use two pins 
to use three of my devices is really handy anyway going through all this lot I can see they've done some editing there oh I've got Baidu coordinates got Google coordinates and uh, it's got longitude and latitude I assume that is going to be GPS coordinates I'm, I'm not sure or GLONASS I'm not sure it is very badly labeled I I just don't know what on earth is going on here which version of the of GPS I'm using whether I'm let's just say it's not clear and leave it at that okay now I'm going to run this and there we go it actually tells you roughly where I am and you see the latitude longitude Baidu coordinates Google coordinates and it keeps updating every few seconds and we shall just have to see if that makes any sense now it won't if you type those coordinates into Google Maps I typed them into Google Maps I typed them in one way and I got my, found myself in the middle of um, the Arctic Ocean near Svalbard typed the other lot of court typed them in the other way around and found myself somewhere not very far not very near where I actually am but then I pulled up where I am put a pinpoint on Google Maps to find to pinpoint my location and the the figures were exactly the same it's just Google just does not accept the uh, the, the code and it's if you type them in or copy and paste them in and they had the same problem with MapQuest um, I just don't care it's not really that important so you close that and that's that so I'm shut that down and head back to the the camera so now you can see exactly what the GPS does and it does it really well I'm going to have to put all the components into a, some kind of uh, case for the drone but uh, it's coming along nicely the only thing I haven't tested yet is the motor controller and I have tested the motor controller with a manual tester but I have not actually tested it on the Pi Pico and I suppose I'm gonna to have to do that so that might be the next video I don't know but as you can see that is all working very nicely and I'm very happy with it the big thing now is to work on the rest of the uh, the electronics and the drone and the programming I have no idea when I'm actually going to start construction on the airframe or even if I'm going to start construction on the airframe the main thing is to uh, create a working navigation and flight control system now if I went to the, uh, the flight control is going to be interesting because I'm, I'm I'm thinking in three dimensions and I've got two controls instead of three so instead of having flaps um, ailerons and a rudder I have two whatever you call them flapperons I don't know on a v-tail that's the plan uh, whether I'll need canards at the front I do not know I very much hope not and what I intend to do with this drone is put it together and give it a little test flight here I'm on four acres so maybe fly it from one one corner well <laughs> fly it around four corners of a square and see what happens and just hope it doesn't crash horribly with multiple casualties no you do, did hear about the terrible air crash in uh, in Ireland, didn't you? No? Okay, well, a small two-seater plane crashed in Ireland. And um, were Ireland's worst ever plane crash. Police have recovered 500 bodies so far.
Like I said, it crashed in a graveyard. Ha ha! Anyway, the um, plans are uh, magnificent. I'll just have to see how the reality turns out. But so far, everything is working nicely. I just need to get it all to play well together. And this has been another British Tech Guru production. And I'm Zephyr Beeblebrox, and we'll probably meet again in another video.